Hello everyone. Welcome to Graphic Hunters. Today I'm going to show you how to design a monogram logo very quickly and easily, as well as show you how to make your logo look professional to audience. You will also learn how you will keep same properties to your design. So, make sure to watch carefully to the end, and then write in the comments section the most valuable information that you find in the tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So let's start the video. First take line segment tool, and draw a line. Copy the line by hold alter, and take total 10 lines by hold control and pressing D. Now select the lines, and copy it. For copy, go edit and select copy. Again go edit, and select paste in place. Now rotate these line 90 degree like that. As you can see guys, we have made grid for our design. Now we will draw our logo letter on the grid. Our today's logo letters are D and S. We will try to draw the same design on the grid. So first select the lines. Take shape builder tool. And turn on the fill color. Now draw these two letter like this. This is very easy design. Everyone can make it very easily. Now select the design, and move it above from the lines. Ok, that's good. Now delete everything without the design. As you can see guys, how easily we have designed this logo. Now we need to modify something to the design for a look better. Turn off the stroke weight. First take rectangular tool. And draw square equal to design width like that. If I change the color of the square, you can easily recognize. Now make the square half, there are many way to make anything half. You can easily make it half by making it smaller like that. You can also make it half by taking line segment tool like this. If you don't want to follow this two method, there is another one for you. Select the square. Go object. Select path. Select built into grid. Take two rows, and click on OK. Now place this shape here like that. You have placed this shape perfectly, otherwise it does not work. Now make it half again like this way. Now place this shape here perfectly. Go outline mode by press Ctrl Y and check these shape are placed perfectly on the logo. I think everything is perfect. Go normal mode by press Ctrl Y. Now select everything and take shape builder tool. First join this two shape. 
Now remove this little shape by hold alter like this. Okay, that's good. As you can see guys, this design is more beautiful than previous. And we can easily read the letter D and S. Now take direct selection tool, hold shift, and select this two corner. And curve it like that. It makes the D letter more readable. Okay, that's good. Now we will add a circle to this logo. Most of the designers made a mistake, when they want to add anything after completed the design. Suppose, they just take ellipse tool, and draw a circle. After that, they increase the stroke weight according to design properties. But seriously, this is not actually equal to the design properties, and that's why this method is not approved to professional designers. So what is the perfect way to add circle to your design equal to your design properties? Keep watching, I will show you everything. First of all, you need to draw a circle, we have already yet. Now take rectangular tool. Draw a rectangular equal to design properties like that. Take line segment tool, and draw a line in the middle of the circle like that. Add color to the line. Now select everything, and make it middle align center. Now place this rectangle here perfectly. You can check it by go outline mode. Now select the circle, and copy it by press Ctrl C and Ctrl F. Now make it smaller equal to the rectangular like that. Go back normal mode by press Ctrl Y. Now delete the rectangular, also the line. But I think, our circle need little bit bigger, so do that before delete line and rectangular. Okay, that's good. Now select the two circle, take shape builder tool, swap stroke color to fill color, and click here. Okay, that's good. Also turn off stroke color. Now select everything, and make it middle align center. So friends, this is my final logo. This is how you can easily design your logo perfectly and you shape properties stay same. So, here's our finished masterpiece. I hope you loved watching this design come to life. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more creative content. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or ideas for what you want to see next. Thanks for watching, and keep unleashing your creativity.